So, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have two inequalities in this problem. Now, this is the last really new thing that we're learning um, before you guys take your test. And the reason why I didn't really set up a whole day for this is because basically it's the same thing that I just showed or what you guys have been practicing over and over, except instead of doing one, graphing one inequality, we're just going to do two on the same coordinate axis. So it's really nothing very new that you guys are going over. We're just adding an extra inequality. So we can see the first one we have in slope-intercept form. And the second equation we do not have in slope-intercept form. So I am going to rewrite that equation in slope-intercept form. So to do that, I will solve for my x. So I have y is greater than negative x plus 4. All right. Now for each equation, for each equation, I am going to identify the y-intercept and the slope. You don't really have to do this for every problem, but I'm going to do it because there's a couple of important things that I want you guys to know, it, know about this. First of all, remember the slope, ladies and gentlemen. We always want to rewrite the slope as a fraction. So rather than writing the slope as 2, we want to think of it as 2 over 1. And remember the y-intercept, we always want to think of as a coordinate point. Okay. Over here, this one gets students a lot when you just have a negative x or just an x. Remember, we can always think of negative x as negative 1 times x. Right? So now, if that's negative 1 times x, um, if that's negative 1 times x, now I can rewrite that slope as negative 1 over 1, and this y-intercept is 0 comma 4. You could also write that slope as 1 over negative 1, but just to keep it simple, I'll use 1. So now, let's go ahead and graph each one of these. All right. So let's graph this one first. So I go to, I go to my y-intercept first. I plot 0, 1. And then I use the slope, which is up 2 over 1, to find my next point. I notice here this is less than or equal to, so it's a solid line, not dashed. That means the points that lie on the line are a part of the solution. Um, whenever I'm doing two inequalities or more, I always like to, uh, rather than shade, I like to use arrows and then shade the only the feasible region. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my test point, which 0, 0 in this case works. So I'll test. And I'll plug 0 in for y, 0 in for x. And I get 0 is less than or equal to 1, which is true. So that means I'm going to shade towards my test point, because my test point 0, 0 is true in this case. Then I go to this one, which is x plus y, or here we go. y is greater than um, 4, so my y-intercept is positive 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. And then my slope is down 1 to the right 1. And this one is greater than, so it's a dashed line. And then we go ahead and test that one. So I say test. 0 is less than negative 0 plus 4. 0 is greater than 4, which obviously is false. So since the test point is false for this line, I shade above. And therefore, you guys can see that this region right here is the only region that is true for all of them, or true for both of my equations, or inequalities. Make sense? Help you out? Yeah. 